Hi, welcome to Nokri Learning. My name is Kanika Garg and I have done my PhD in artificial intelligence and machine learning. I have been in uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning development for past eight years and got a good grasp of such concepts. So today we are going to discuss a very famous chat GBT for this session. So let's understand how chat GBT for is important or say useful for data scientists and ML developers. So uh, to get to that, we must understand what chat GPT is, how it works, what are its benefits and advantages, the use cases. We can have a little demo and then a conclusion. So of course, chat GPT is a you know large language model developed by OpenAI. It's based on uh, GPT 3.5 architecture. And what exactly GPT is, it's a language model that I've been in use. Initially, we were using GPT-2, then GPT-3 came, and then GPT-3.5. And with GPT-3.5, we got chat GPT as a front face, right? So it is designed to generate uh, human-like responses to text-based inputs, such as, you know, chat messages or, say, the written prompts. At its core, Chat GPT is a deep learning model that has been trained on massive corpus of textual data. This training allows it to learn the patterns, the structures of the human language and use this knowledge to generate responses to new inputs. So when a user sends a message to the chat GPT, the model analyzes the text and generates a response that is intended to be contextually relevant and coherent, right? So this response is based on the patterns and structures that the model has learned during training and is generated using a process called autoregression, where the model generates one word at a time conditioned on the input text and the words it has already generated. So overall, I say that the chat GPT represents a significant advance in natural language processing and has a potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers and communicate with each other. So in this presentation, we will explore some of the key benefits of chat GPT for the data scientists and machine learning developers, including its ability to generate high quality text, automate text based tasks, and even provide the valuable insights for the data analysis. So we'll also discuss some of the potential limitations and ethical considerations when using chat GPT, right? Now, how does it work? So, as I have uh, already said, that it's based on GPT 3.5 architecture, which is a large scale transformer based language model. So, it works by training on massive amounts of text data from the internet, books, and uh, maybe the, of course, the ebooks and the other sources, allowing it to learn the nuances and intricacies of the language, right? Once trained, chat GPT can generate text in response to user's input. Try something like, I want to understand this topic and make me understand this topic like I'm a 10-year-old. So you'll see the difference how it gives you the reply. So it uses a technique called autoregression where it predicts the next word in a sequence based on the previous word. So this allows to generate coherent and contextually appropriate responses most of the times, not all the times, but most of the times. So when a user inputs a message or a question, chat GPT uses its vast knowledge of the language and context to generate any response. It also has the ability to understand and respond to multiple languages, makes it versatile tool for communication. In addition to generating responses, it can also perform a variety of natural language tasks, such as language transfer, uh, translation, text summarization. If you just feed a whole sum of text to it and you ask to summarize it, it will easily do it. And somehow, if you give it text of it and you say, just find out the people and the places from the text, it will give you that also. Isn't it amazing? It also performs sentiment analysis, maybe question answering, and more. So this makes it a powerful tool for a range of applications from customer service chatbots to content creation and more. What are its advantages? First is, of course, improved efficiency. It can help you to automate certain tasks. It helps you saving time and increasing your productivity. 
now somehow suppose if you have to if you used to take some you know to write an article for like one an hour but if you just take feedbacks from chat gpt it hardly take you 15 minutes and this goes along with the code generation as well if you are looking for some you know help in the how to write the code or say a logic behind the code you can just always ask the chat gpt better accuracy it can help help with you know, like data cleaning pre processing feature engineering and it may potentially lead to better model performance increased creativity you know it can help to generate new ideas you can uh, if you have just seen the in the reels in the insta reels it's so famous that you just provided some say ingredients like i have these four ingredients can you please tell me uh, what can i make out of them so it will give you some new recipe you might have not heard of that recipe anywhere else right so it generate new ideas and insights by you know suggesting alternative approaches or say solutions then enhanced collaboration it uh, can facilitate collaboration between you know team members allowing for more effective knowledge sharing and problem solving right now let's talk about chat gpt basically for ai and ml people the poor people who are associated with the artificial intelligence and machine learning and especially the data scientists the first and the foremost is data augmentation you know you can generate new data based on existing data using chat gpt that means if you have a smaller data set and you want to enhance your data set you can just give the data to the chat gpt and it will give you the similar kind of data augmented to it so it can beautifully increase the size of the data set especially for the tasks such as uh, task uh, task classification text classification sentiment analysis maybe regression anything right right the another tool is for the natural language processing uh, it can perform various forms of natural processing tasks such as uh, text generation you just give a word it will generate a text over text, uh, text over it right summarization translation just give it one um, language text and it will give you the another language text whatever you want right this can be useful in tasks such as uh, customer support chatbots etc then it's helpful in uh, chat gpt is a pre trained language model so it can be fine tuned on specific tasks such as text classification named entity recognition so this can save you time and effort in training your own models by giving the raw data from the scratch and for that purpose now chat gpt apis are available in the market you can just go and have its api and club it with your code and voila you will have everything with you of course it is a very good tool for experimentation now it can use to generate new hypotheses uh, or the tests existing ones by generating new data and exploring different scenarios right then collaboration of course we have discussed in the previous slide as well that uh, it can be used to generate text for collaborations such as the summaries of the meetings generating reports from the data the very important task that i find that can help ai engineers is explaining and fixing bugs in the code there are many a times when you join a company or something you provide you are given with the code written by another person where you do not have any documentations related to it what you can do is you can just feed the code to the chat gpt and it, it will explain you line by line what the code is doing what the variables are doing what the variables are for and you can use that understanding to process the code or maybe to regenerate the code or maybe to fix the bugs in the code which is a very important tool because till now we do not have any such model where we can you know just uh, give our code and it will tell you what it is doing how it is doing where the bugs are where you can improve your code right so it has various use cases where we can use it data pre processing and cleaning of course data text generation and summarization chatbots recommendation systems parameter hyperparameter tuning right for example um say chat gpt is a large neural network uh, trained on massive amounts of data so text generation is basically done by providing chat gpt with a with a starting prompt seed 
right it could be a single word text so model then generates a new text based on the patterns it has learned from the training data okay so it can be fine tuned to generate specific type of text such as uh, say i give a word murder and now i'll tell him i tell the chat gpt that okay i have to write a news article over it or i can just say write a story for a movie or a write a story for a play so it will generate the data according to the needs you have so summarization also involves providing chat gpt with a longer piece of text and asking it to generate a shorter summary so the model uses its understanding of the language structure and meaning to identify the most important information in the original text and generate a summary that captures the key points right so of course it has various shortfalls so before coming on to the shortfalls let's have a little demo how it can help us so let me take you to the chat gpt screen uh this is the screen of the no uh, chat gpt now you can see i've just given a word nokri learning it has given me massive amount of information about nokri learning what the nokri learning is what it offers what it is exactly right so now now let's try this i'm giving it some code which is which was also generated by chat gpt itself and i just have written a single word a single line here can you please explain this code so let's see what it gives you okay so it's giving the code is performing hyperparameter tuning and an xg boost classifier using randomized search cv function from the scikit learn library now here is a breakdown of the code now it is telling you line by line what the code is doing each and every the meaning of each and every code and even the overall summarization this code demonstrate how to use randomized search cv to tune hyperparameters for an xg boost classifier which can help improve the performance of the given model right it's amazing now let's try another thing uh let's say i have a question to it a problem statement i will be giving a problem statement where i'll give it some customer details and the problem and then i will ask chat gpt to write a code for me right let's understand this okay i have given some information to it like i have a customer details and these are the various details that i have and what i want is problem is to predict which customer is more likely to purchase a newly introduced travel package which variables are most significant which segment of customers should be targeted more and i want to write a python code for that right let's see what it gives you so it's giving a python code example that addresses the problem i described first it's reading some libraries then it is it is also explaining you step by step what the code is doing what it is doing exactly right now we can just see it's encoding the categorical variables because we always encode the categorical variables then scaling the numerical variables we split the data now just see it's beautiful i mean everything it has given you with the explanation whatever it is doing so i am not saying that it's perfect it might have some errors or maybe it will not address all the problems that you have given but at least it, it will give you the starting point it will give a basic idea how you can start your project right finally it is giving you to determine which segment of customers should be targeted more we can use various techniques like it's also giving you the ideas like how to proceed right similarly if you want to know like um i you can generate the sql statements you can just give it like i want more than that customers or something like that it will give you an example you you just give it a vague something and it will give you some answers so that you can just read them and you can have an idea of your own right now let's discuss over the shortfalls of the chat gpt the first one is it has a limited perspective that 
it can uh, limited chat gpt's limited perspective can make it something of an, an echo chamber you know which can be very problematic we have long known that the machine learning algorithm has bias right so ai is vulnerable so it can you know uh, vulnerable to adopt the harmful biases like say sexism xenophobia racism because it will all depend what kind of people are interacting with that model that time despite the guardrails that open ai has implemented chat gpt is also capable of inheriting the biases right so if you are interested there is a discussion over chat gpt susceptibility to bias on bloomberg just go and just have a visit so another is you will miss the skills that means it can get you hired if you do not learn anything by your own you still need to compete with other people in the interviews like the major companies where the research is being going on so you cannot just fully rely on chat gpt because if you want to be a developer you have to have your own thinking you may have an idea from it but unless and until you do your programming yourself you cannot get recruited now the another thing is that is there is a huge dependency on the training data it chat gpt requires a massive amount of high quality training data to perform well so if the training data is biased or incomplete the resulting model may not perform as expected then it lacks the common sense knowledge that means it relies on the statistical patterns in the text generated responses it does not have access to the common sense knowledge or the real world experience which can lead to nonsensical and the inaccurate responses in certain contexts right then it has uh, the limited uh, limited understanding of the context like chat gpt generates responses based on the input it receives but it may also not always understand the full context of the conversation and it, it happens you try to feed it something it will give you some answer this can lead to misunderstandings and sometimes inappropriate responses as well apart from these shortfalls it has some ethical concerns it can you know chat gpt can be used for unethical purposes like um, generating fake news hate speeches other harmful content right ai and ml engineers should be aware of these ethical concerns and take steps to prevent the mis misuse of the chat gpt then it is not also it is not appropriate to uh, upload your company's data or some personal information over chat gpt to get the results or the python code right or any code because there we don't know how exactly or what exactly it is storing for itself then chat gpt also requires significant significant computational resources to train and run which may be a limitation for smaller organization and those without access to high performance computing resources right so though chat gpt is really useful but where to use and anything that you use you should know the shortfalls or the disadvantages that comes along with it so you just be mindful of using anything that you use so finally thank you please uh, like share and subscribe if you like my video and uh, please like share and subscribe nokri learning dot com Thank you.